Hi, good afternoon everyone, good morning everyone. I'm Sheriff Aisat, I'm a Canadian citizen, I'm a native from Algeria. I'm very glad, I'm very pleased to make a short synopsis about this small book published uh, by uh, Amazon, uh, Kindle Direct Publisher, Publishing. As you see, it's, it's a very small one. Uh, of course, the answer, the answer is in the book. And uh, what about it? What about it? What about it? In uh, three words, this, this book is, this book is a blessing in disguise. Just three words. It's my blessing in dis disguise. As you saw, this book is consists consist of four parts, four parts. Equations, equilibrium, the broken jar, and poetry, Lunas, Lunas Markov. Um, I prefer to start by the last one, the last one, Lunas Markov. For the English native speakers, especially from the United States and uh, Great Britain or Australia um, and other countries. Lunas Matub is the source, he has originated, he has originated this blessing in disguise. A couple of years ago, I wrote a small paper about him. And I did what we call in Latin words a lapsus calami about his death date. Lunas Matub was born in was born in 1956 in Algeria. He was murdered and then in Algeria. He was murdered in Algeria. Maybe um he did a recital in uh, the United States, but it was for the Algerian, the, uh, the Amazigh Algerian community there, uh, community there. If we have to compare his masterpieces, either in, theo uh, uh, either in poetry or in music, I will say, I dare to say, that it was uh, like the words used by uh, Friedrich Nietzsche about uh, Richard Wagner. Lunas Matub is an Algerian, an Amazigh, Tomaturge, and Demiurge. Uh, he deserves to be known by all the English native nations. His life deserves to be implemented, to be shown in a movie, especially in English. I wish, I hope, that um, some academicians, uh, some uh, or students at university le at the university level, level, in the United States, in England, in Australia, in New Zealand, will be interested by the life of Lunas Matu. He is a huge one. His life was full from his day, from his birth to his death. Even if he is from he is from the same country of me, from the same region, from Algeria, from Kabylia, I had never met him. But here in my exile in Canada, 
He is helping me in less suffering. I apologize, of course, of course, for the quality of the writing. It's my first experience in English. In English. So that. Now let's go with the other, the other parts. So the first one is equation. The second one is uh, equilibrium. The third one, the broken jar and the poetry. Don't be afraid with mathematics when we see equations or equi equilibrium. Don't be afraid by mathematics. Um, I consider for myself, of course, I'm speaking for myself. I consider that mathematics is the mother of sciences. For me, mathematics is the mother of science, of the sciences. Starting with Leonard Euler, or Kurt Gödel, or Van Neumann, or John Nash, John Nash Jr., or Leibniz, uh, Grotten Dick, um, and all others. I think they have reached a limit which is near the, near the goodness. Just near the goodness. Equations is about how can we imagine our life in the interstellar space? It's easy for us to say that um, I feel over the moon, I feel blue when we are on Earth. Can we translate them in the space, in the interstellar space? For sure, yes. Because it's the same space, not in nature. But in place. Of course, I have read the book of Stephen Hawking, and I was really impressed by the, the humility and the simplicity of it of his writing. But until now, I wonder how we can translate equations demonstrated on Earth by humans to the interstellar space, spaces, like uh, black holes, like uh, warm holes, and they are brief, and we can apply them. And, they give, and they, they give, these equations give the correct result as demonstrated with the big doubt, this famous big doubt of Albert Einstein with his relativity and the space-time. So, as I wrote it here in the book, I want to stop writing, you know, for this path. I want to stick to stop speaking, might God forgive my perjury. Wegnoun is a small village, is a nothing village in Algeria, in Kabylia. But for me, Wegnoun for me, cannot see for me, for the reader, all the readers, even if the American, the English, uh, the Scottish ones. Wagnon is close to Neptune, the farthest planet in the solar system. Starting by this sentence, you can have all your conclusions, all your, your deductions, or maybe you can make a, a reasoning by inductions. For sentence, I leave my hole, I set out to, uh, to Wagnon for a journey which will be, I know, full of chucks.
I'm sorry um, for this uh, little break. In the, in the first bar, uh, equations, equations. In my original black hole, I feel falling in an infinite and eternal movement. But as you, as your wave comes around my soul, I see your graceful face with your hair's lock on your forehead, wearing your white vest and your necklace of beads which adorns your limp neck. I endeavor to clean bar, uh, to clamp out, sorry. And uh, in a black hole, it is known that if we get in a black hole, we disappear. But for me, when I see her, I can leave it. For the second part, equilibrium. For the second part, equilibrium. Maybe we understand equilibrium in its basic sense. When we say that we are in equilibrium, it means that we cannot fail. When uh, we cannot fail, uh, when we say we can say that we are in equilibrium in our uh, household budget, when we have the same expenses, expenditures, and the same incomes. They can be well balanced, but without any saving, and so. But in in our private life, for example, a girlfriend, uh, a girl with her boyfriend, can be are they can be always in equilibrium. For sure. They can be always in equilibrium. Even, even if the outer love or fight. So that's why we see, uh, I, uh, you can read, in case of breakings of such unions within this failure market, only love can reduce the troubles in the community and thus give the chance to the loved woman to be happy again and take revenge on her fate. For about the broken jar and poetry, Even if I'm passionate by economics, international cooperation, eco uh, mathematics, I love poetry. In Algeria, it's, it's an important craft, handcraft in Kabylia and other, um, and other regions in Algeria. As in China, of course. As here in Canada. As here in Canada. But the, I have never thought that Rainer Maria Rilke, one of the famous lovers of Lou Andrea, Lou Andrea Salome, could have written, have written a poetry in which he has used the word jar because it's the same word which was used by a person who, by the person who created me. Thank you for this uh, discovery, for listening to me about uh, my this short and basic synopsis about the one, the last one, which is available on Amazon. Thank you so much.